Have you ever worked in a business that never changed? When customer needs and expectations never changed? Or where competition never changed? If you have, it was either a long time ago or you were working on another planet. Today I will talk about legacy systems and why they are dangerous to your long-term business health. Hello, I'm Patrick Miller and you're in the right place if you want unconventional advice to make it happen. If you haven't already, subscribe on YouTube or connect on LinkedIn so you won't miss future uploads. I once had a conversation with a business leader who asked me why the AS400 platform they use to manage their business in France was so bad. I was actually stunned for two reasons. I assumed the business leaders knew why they needed to modernize their business, but mostly because I didn't have a clear response. So for all you business leaders out there, here are four reasons why you should retire your legacy platform and some tips on how to do it. Number one, legacy systems inhibit business evolution. They have the roots in times of slower change. In the old days, business change was slower. Change was bundled up in systems and processes and implemented only periodically. Then long periods of stability would follow. This is how you ran a business during the industrial age. But that's not the world today. Changing customer needs, expectations, and competition are constant. Legacy systems were not designed for change and inhibit your ability to evolve your business to meet this change. Number two, legacy systems and the infrastructure they run on were not designed to handle the increasing sophistication of cyber attacks. Security threats are constantly changing and legacy systems are often their target and at the same time, they are very difficult to update for security. Then there is a need for segregation of duties and transactional transparency to prevent fraud. In companies where I worked, almost every case of fraud was allowed by weaknesses in the legacy system. Number three, legacy platforms block innovation. Modern applications like those used to deliver innovation follow a very modular approach. They are designed to do fewer things, but better and easier. Monolithic legacy applications are designed to be self-contained, not for sharing information. And when it comes time to deploy new innovation enabling applications, you are generally blocked when encountering a legacy system. For example, when deploying e-commerce functionality into a country with a legacy ERP. Number four, legacy systems create a stagnant culture. When trying to change the business to meet new challenges, you inevitably hear, that's not how we have always done it. Organizations that never change become short-sighted and resistant to any change. And legacy systems encourage stagnation. Failure to replace them tells employees it is okay to resist change, to protect their island, to only think about today because yesterday's tools are still good enough. Number five, my experience. Every company has legacy systems, and here are a few simple things to deal with them. Number one, have an inventory. This is obvious, but necessary. Number two, educate management. Often there is not an immediate financial payoff, but management need to buy in to the longer term need. Number three, involve impacted business users in building the replacement. This creates buy-in and ownership that will reduce resistance and have a plan and just execute. Steady progress signals that legacy systems have an expiration date. And finally, never ever integrate new innovation into old legacy applications. Use the carrot of new capability to create demand for change. Here's what you need to remember. Legacy systems inhibit the continuous business evolution you need to remain competitive. They increase security and fraud risk and block innovation by making it difficult to deploy new applications and tools. And they create a culture resistant to change. There is no magic to replacing them, you just need to build the plan and work the plan. If you would like to learn more, we can arrange a chat. We specialize in providing dedicated, high performance teams and business prototyping. If you enjoyed the video, like it and share your experience in the comments below. Subscribe on YouTube or connect on LinkedIn so you won't miss future posts. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's go make it happen.